All right, I think everyone's seen it on the news that there's been major flooding. The most heavily affected, of course, is Erftstadt. It's a town in West Germany. Of course, the situation is nothing unusual. Germany always has major thunderstorms in July and August during the summer. But this time, of course, it's an election year. And many of the German party's candidates up for election are taking advantage of the situation. So they're flocking to the town of Erftstadt to display their empathy. Of course, this is as fake as it can be because they're only there for the election. So the media is interviewing them, asking them, do you think it's global warming? What are you going to do about this? So if you vote for me, we'll never have catastrophes like this again. So there's a lot of media coverage of the candidates in Erftstadt. Now, of course, people are asking, where's Merkel? Is she going to go there? No, she's not, because she's in the US right now, paving the way for her career after the election when she's not chancellor anymore. Of course, Merkel's absence is also a good indicator for her opportunism. Because since she's going to step down anyway, what good would it do her anyway if she was in Erftstadt 24-7? So, of course, the other candidates are also opportunists. And to my mind, this shows very vividly how these politicians, those candidates for German chancellor, are only opportunists who don't really care about the 54 people who have died in the floods or the thousands of people who have lost their homes. No, it's just about getting votes. So basically, it's just advertisement for their campaigns, and it's free. So I think this also reflects the crisis of democracy, which not only Germany is facing nowadays, but which is prevalent in many Western countries. So next time, I'm going to talk about this crisis of democracy in more detail. Until then, see you, stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.